In this episode of Geocaching Travel Adventures, we run rampant round Rotterdam after a mind-boggling letterbox cache, man-eating bunnies, and definite Dutch delights as we let geocaching be our tour guide to Rotterdam. Hello adventurers, I'm Jay. I'm Laura. And, and we're, we're the, the Land, Land Monkeys. Monkeys. We are going to take you on some geocaching adventure travel all over the place. We are crazy cachers from Canada and we are out exploring the world using geocaching as our travel guide. We've arrived in this Nouveau Netherlands metropolis eager to explore and in search of seven icons. Yes, that's right geocachers, we're once again trying to find seven different geocache types while also dipping our toes in some culture and history. Good morning adventurers and welcome to Rotterdam. This is our next episode and our next adventure that we're bringing you along with as we explore this bustling amazing city our ship landed bright and early in the morning we got off right away and now we're out on foot using geocaching as our guide taking you along and exploring rotterdam so watch through see all kinds of great tips on visiting this city and just have some fun finding geocaches with us all right let's go have an adventure Laura, what was the hint on this one? Classic hide. Classic hide. <laughs> what is a Dutch classic hide? We didn't know. <laughs> wow. Did we figure it out? Yes. Shall we tell everybody else? Sure. Or we'll at least show them. At least to the CEO, this is a classic hide. <laughs> it's <a> classic. <laughs> classic Dutch now, hide. Now, is it a classic because it's in the pipe or is it classic because it's a film canister? I think it's classic because it, this is <laughs> just classic Although Dutch. I, oh, I do, I do okay. Find these you know what? Those are awesome. This to me is classic European. We've, and I'm dropping this. We've seen a few of these and I just absolutely love this cache hide style with the film canister. That is just so brilliant. Love the, finding these. All right, let's sign the log. And we're in. Natural history, you have to watch out for the giant man eating rabbits. Right, Laura? That's a big rabbit. It's good of all the people it eats. All right, well, that is our first puzzle in Holland. Congratulations. So it's 9.30 in the morning. It's getting a little windy, but it's not raining. So we're thankful for that. Right in the middle of downtown Rotterdam. And we now have four different cache types found. Very exciting. Let's see how many more we can get on this adventure as we also explore more of this neat city. Well, Rotterdam is a fascinating town to visit. I've said it a lot, so I really hate to sound like a broken record. She has the code. She has the box open. Let's see. Is this the cat? What on earth is going on? Interesting. So that's why it said to bring a USB power supply. Oh, 
shoot, and I got it wrong, so now uh, it starts Now we over. start over again. Six. Click. And it pops right open, revealing the cache. That is an amazing is cool. geocache. All right, that was pretty cool. That was so cool. I am so glad we came to this one. Bit of a walk to Bit get here. Bit of a walk, but we got it. All right, so we'll sign the log, put it all back together, and uh, leave it for the next adventure. And actually, you know what? Let's drop some stuff. Let's drop some stuff in here, too. Let's see what I've got. I have some. You got some stuff? Yes. I've got some. Uh, Canada's first Giga trackable, unactivated, and I have my co host will like this, Caching the Northwest stickers. All right, so I'll drop some cool Canada swag in there for these guys. one of the places geocaching takes you as your tour guide is to an adventure lab stop at this amazing wall. Take a look at this. This is breathtaking. All right, so cash find. Uh, I don't know how many finds that is so far in Rotterdam, <laughs> but what I do know is it's our sixth cash type we've found today in Rotterdam. And what type is this? This is a multi. And what did you think of the starting point? That's cool. It was a very cool historic starting point, and then took us into a nice little park here. Cash type six. Uh, and our target is? Seven. Seven. Let's see if we can do it, folks. Okay. So at the Port Pavilion, it's the visitor center, but it's also the Maritime Museum. There is an amazing series of outdoor displays that you can just come and check out and walk around and take a look at. And not only can you check out all these great exhibits here, open and free to walk around and check out, but uh, you can stop for a geocache too. And so if you're visiting the Maritime Museum, make sure you stop into the cafe if you need a bite to eat and a little bit to drink. Why not, right? All right, guys, that is seven icon types with that virtual find in Holland. So mission accomplished. With the mission accomplished and daylight decidedly dampening, it was back across the bridge, a few more Adventure Lab stops, and then time to retire to our cabin as we ready ourselves for yet another geocaching travel adventure with you. Our next stop is Belgium. And if you find these adventures exciting, informative, and helpful, don't forget to subscribe and let geocaching be your tour guide.